Now the pin number we have checked that is the one and two. Now let's come and check pin number three. Let's check pin number three. So it is started from this point. Now let me show you. We have started from this point. This is the one number pin. Zoom it. This is the pin number one. This is the pin number two, three. Now let's come and check three. We have no voltage on this point. What is this? This is the clock. Clock has no voltage. Okay. Now, rest data. No, actually, I am not using the DC jack. <laughs> it happens. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for that. Now, let me confirm it once again. We have no voltage on the battery positive. Two pins are dedicated for the battery positive. Clock. Yes, we have. Forget to use the DC jack. Okay, we have clock. Now, what we are checking now. For example, I can tell you what is this. Like uh, a truck which is uh, without goods. We are checking just a truck. Okay, not goods. Later on with the DSO, we will check the where the data and clock is present or not. We are just checking the pull of voltage. So we have clock. What is this? Four number is data maybe. Data. Four number data is not present. Let's come back here. Four number is data and this is not present. So this is the bad thing. Uh, battery percent. Battery percent on the pin number five. Let's come and confirm. Five. We have 3.3 .3 volt. We must uh, care about this thing as soon as we will inject the battery into the motherboard. It must go low. Now, the, the very pin we will check on the pin number five with the battery. Now, let me insert the battery. So now let me insert the battery into the motherboard. Turn the board. Somebody has tried as much that the plastic is gone. Good, good effort. So now, I have injected the DC jack into the motherboard. Now let's come and check. So now let's come and check the, the same battery pin. Okay. So the motherboard is with the battery. Now I'm just checking the voltage only. Now you see. The battery uh, is having 15 volt. The battery output is having 15 volt. That is the good. Pin number two is also having uh, 15 volt. Pin number three, which was uh, clock, it is also having 3.3 .3 volt. Data, it is having no voltage at all. And uh, this is the battery detect or battery sense this is pen number five one two three four five it is zero now you can see here this is the most important thing you have to check if you get the high voltage then you must check the pull down and pull up register and also controller io and wherever it is going you should uh, you should be careful about this particular pin if the battery is not detected, like you are having no, in that case, in that case, you will not get this particular voltage. The 15 volt you are getting, you will not get that voltage. The so first of all, the battery is sensed by the controller. Then the controller IC will uh, release the clock and data, and then the further communication begins. Got it? Now, we have no 
data one two three four data pull up voltage not to speak of uh, the data packet even we don't have the pull up voltage then how the data will transfer through the uh, sm bus or from the controller i to the charging ic so we need to fulfill the voltage here i must mention this particular uh, my experience if you don't have this voltage then you can have the pull up voltage from anywhere if you are unable to find if you don't have a schematic of the any particular motherboard and you find that the data or the uh, clock any of the things is uh, missing in from the motherboard then you can pull up from the any point with the 4.7 kilo ohm resistor to the 4.7 to 10 kilo ohm resistor in between you should take as per the sm bus data sheet as i have gone through the sm bus data sheet it is written you can write, you can use their 4.7 uh, kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm even you can pull up with five with the five volt even you can pull up with the three volt three volt is usually we find on the motherboard just because there is a less consumption of the battery okay so here we need to copy this sm bus data and uh, clip to the clipboard paste it and find out here is the one point it is going maybe this diode is uh, leaky and uh, it calls to stop the like here if it is short the possibility i'm telling you okay like if it is short from this point then it, it will reduce the voltage it will remove the voltage from this point so maybe it is short so what is the number d uh, 4305 let's find out uh, we will not remove it we are not going to remove this we are going to just check this point okay d43 uh, we need to just check this uh, d4305 in order to make uh, sure that uh, this particular area is short or not so just remove the battery and uh, set it on the bip mode or diode mode and find that whether it is short or not so it is having oil it is having oil from the other side let's check it on the diode mode one side back to back since it is the back to back diode one side it will show open one side it must uh, have any value uh, change the hand this side should not be any value however uh, if you find this types of thing you just remove it the back side you will not get if you uh, keep the positive on this point positive probe on this point and negative probe on this point you should not get any value if you put the positive point on the uh, anode and you keep the negative on the cathode then you will get a value less to 800 ohms at any cost otherwise it will be considered as open that is the very deep uh, matter we will learn about these things in the switching classes so here this is not short at least so this area is having no problem i'm damn sure about this let's find out where else it's going it's connector the same connector now it is sm bus pulled up but pulled up is not coming low let's uh, check this particular area so it's quite difficult to find out uh, pr4435 in in this particular motherboard because this vegas has no board view so i am not going to check this now it is telling you that this is the communication process that uh, the battery is installed here and uh, sorry the battery connector the battery is installed here and uh, this is the charging chip and this is the your smc or controller io which is communicating together like it is uh, telling to the battery through the charging ic that what amount of charging is required and stop charging uh, start charging this types of command is uh, happening through this sm bus so 
as it is showing us that the pull up is required so we have no pull up on this one line uh, that is the data line so let's find out the where the pull up register here it is coming on the uh, pin number pin number 8 and 9 9 is having the data so we are finding the data now this is this is the rn whatever the network register uh, rn 2402 we need to find this so one thing is here that if you have data sheet if you have board view then easily you can find out otherwise what you can do here instead of finding and uh, tracing out i rather prefer to pull up a 10 kilo ohm register as you can see here 4.7 k is the here so instead of finding and searching i will pull up a register and i will connect it to the sda path and let's check what does happen now let me find out a voltage nearby the connector or nearby the, that point where a very small amount of jumper I, I want to make. So this is the good point, but here is the 3.3. .3. Let me check which 3.3 S5KBC. And what I am required, not KBC voltage. I am required S5 auxiliary voltage, I think. I am required. Let's find out what is this. Here, I don't have this one I am required. Okay, data here die it is not used i will use here i will use a 10k ohm on the same point okay it should not be as it is saying it should not be on this point but one thing i'm checking just what pull of voltage is required here it is telling you 3d3 auxiliary kvc let's go back 3d3 auxiliary s5 both are the same voltage i will pull up through on this point so i need to find out only where it is going to on the pin number sda system data serial data in input where it is going pin number three uh, power charge sda pin number three let's come and find we will not find that this uh, uh, we will not find here this register as it is uh, written on the on the schematic so here is the charging ic now pin number three pin number three so see here pin number three one two three three this side or this side this is the confusion so we need to find that where the voltage is coming okay because uh, it it will never be located on this point but i will fix here okay so let me find where is the auxiliary voltage auxiliary voltage must be on 3.3 .3 and 5 volt anywhere else it is it is available yes i have one more solution is SCL is also pulled up both terminal will be having continuity like uh, pin number four pin number four this this is the different area this one this one here because this both is having continuity look four three number is here look pin number three is having this area and uh, it should be connected here or here if you have confusion pin number four is also having a polar voltage that is the three volt and it is it must be here because both are the pull up and both are the connected so through the short uh, continuity i can find out the both are the 3.3 here i will fix three volt anyhow with the 10 kilo ohm register so guys as you can see that this is the, my scrap motherboard and uh, I need a 10 kilo ohm register so let me remove it from the bits on then I can find 10 kilo ohm or 5 if I get let's, 
no 4.7 exact i have got this is the motherboard of la hyphen d703p okay without processor you can see i buy this types of scrap motherboard to uh, remove this types of uh, components so this is the donor motherboard to give or to save the motherboards now let me remove it so what is this go back now i need to apply some paste and let's let me check it it is not good now it is fixed let me clean it and uh, what do you say because this is the live case study i am making and uh, i don't have any uh, pre uh, prepared plan that i will make a video so i thought that i must share with you guys something so hopefully it it should work now uh, first of all i would like to confirm that do i have the data voltage or not now let's come and check pin number 1234 uh it is on the beep sound now let me set it on the voltage mode 4 it has 3 volt 3 it is also having 3 volt and uh, battery sense is it is also having 3 volt i think it should charge now however the register is located a that is the network register which is required but here that is the short work because you know that things that uh, which is required and uh, that must be available on that point anyhow you manage it i have ejected but the condition is still same so you know why that is so what is wrong in this point you must comment 